All right, all right, all right. We are back here at Song of the Day, coming to you from the Rock Cave. I'm your host, Mark Pierce. It is Sunday. Slow down Sunday. You know what the drill is here. It's where we slow things down. Typically, heavy on 70s music, yacht rock. You know, that's what we do a lot of. But we are going to loop back around and change things up a little bit. A while back, I did an episode on Wanderlust Wednesday that had a lot of... Uh, metal acts that uh, maybe people had never heard of before and one of those was a song by Gary Moore called Victims of the Future and I said I would want to do a show on him and loop back around which is what we're doing today who is Gary Moore? Gary Moore a northern Irishman singer instrument player guitar player known as one of the greatest guitar players in the world uh, a lot of people don't know his name, but he's very well respected. Uh, and on this date, in 2011, we lost him at the age of 58. Died of a heart attack while on holiday in Spain. Uh, his career started the late 60s. He uh, was in a band called Skid Row. Not to be confused, of course, with the Skid Row in America much later. But Skid Row in uh, Ireland was a, a blues band. So that's, you know, he spent a lot of his time uh, in the blues early on. Then he left and joined Thin Lizzy. Phil Linett was in Skid Row and had formed it. And in the middle of a tour, 1974, they asked him to join and fill in. And he did. He actually was there for about less than a year. Uh, and he did contribute three songs, wrote one of them, uh, but he had to leave. It was just too much partying for him, too much of that craziness, so he did leave. He would go on and kind of uh, fill in the band on and off for years afterwards, but would always leave for the same reason, just a little too much uh, for him. Uh, in 1979, he had a great solo career, by the way. In 1979, uh, his signature song is Parisian Walkways, went to number eight in the UK, also starring Phil Linett with lead vocals on that one. Uh, and he would just keep putting out records, doing his thing. But 1990, that's where I come in, 1990, he put out a record called Still Got the Blues. Uh, he used to play blues uh, like in his dressing room and just fool around and do stuff like that. And finally someone said, hey, you should make a whole album of blues music. And he was like, you know what, you're right. Changed his image, started wearing a suit, uh, was no longer dressing like a... 70s rocker and uh, put out this record. It was his most successful record of his whole career uh, and the title track was the only single of his to chart in the Billboard Top 100. Went to number 97. The album went to like number 83, but it did sell 3 million copies worldwide. It had the likes of Albert King, uh, Albert Collins, George Harrison um, contributed. Uh, so this was a pretty big deal. I got this promo somewhere along the way. I don't know, remember how I uh, heard it. Maybe it was on a compilation sent to the record store. Uh, but this song, I just fell in love uh, with this song. Still got the blues, the title track. And it's perfect slow down song for, the sun for Sunday. And we haven't done a lot of blues here. But this is electric blues. And it's good. You got to check it out. Again, the song, uh, I still play it to this day. It's just, uh, it's a good one. So I want you to check it out. You're checking out. Gary Moore still got the blues from 1990, charted in 1991, but the album came out in 1990. Listen to that track today and tell me what you think on Slow Down Sunday. I hope whatever you're doing today, it involves music. Stay warm if you're in the Northeast, and we're looking forward to another week in the cave next week. So, as I said, have a good one, and as usual, I'll catch you on the flip side.